welcome back everyone and today we're doing full body strength training workout add on challenge so get ready for super sweat and a lot of fun make sure you guys that your body ready and let's begin with a quality warm-up first your first warm-up exercise is walk to plank shoulder top join me when you're ready and while we're doing the warm-up i will give you a quick heads up what to expect from this workout and if you're new guys to the channel I will give you all modifications you need if you are a beginner. So make sure to stick with us till the very end. All right, team. So, so totally, we have three different blocks today. And your first block is your add-on actual block. We have six exercises in that add-on challenge block, which means we're doing five rounds. We will add each and every round one more exercise we will begin with two first your second and your third blocks are actually very quick blocks one is for full body and another one for core and abs at the very end and i have a quick cardio surprise for you as always something to spice it out all right guys give me one more walk forward and then we're gonna move to our second warm-up exercise Come on up with me to the very center of your mat. Your second warm-up exercise is squat. Hands together, rotation, knee lift, all the way. So this warm-up exercise will wake up our center, our lower back, and of course our legs, and bring the heart rate up. So we all can have super safe, super effective workout and burn a lot of calories. And of course, make sure that we don't get injured. Warm up is very important. All right, guys, a few more of squats. Always the knee lift with me. Excellent. We have three to go. Awesome. Two. And one more team. And your final warm up exercise is your regular quick drop squats if you're not doing the drop squats just do a regular air squat here we go we're dropping board today that's it all the way wide all the way narrow all the way wide and all the way narrow i can feel how my body warming up my heart rate is coming up go ahead guys keep on going a little bit deeper with me we have only a few left that's it. We have four to complete this warm up. Three, two, last one, my friends. All right, so make sure that your water is handy. I'm using today two different weights. I'm using a set of the 10 pounders for basically entire workout, 10 pounds each. And I use one dumbbell, which is a 15 pounds for the block number two but you can use the same set or if you don't have the heavier dumbbells then you can use two dumbbells at the same time we'll begin our add-on block and your first add-on exercise today is gonna be your Froger squat to alternate uppercut each and every exercise we will repeat for 12 reps today total begin guys nice good quality bicep curl uppercut that's it all the way give me a good quality frogger add a little pivot guys rotation i count you doing the job all the way bicep curl pivot we complete four already bring your toes guys a little bit wider that's it for good quality frogger bicep i've seen good quality uppercut that's it bicep curl excellent job guys i'm gonna cue this is your number eight if you're following me all the way down good quality frogger reach uppercut little pivot on your feet perfect we have only two reps to go and our second exercise here 
is gonna be your skier, guys. Swing over head press. So drink your water. If you have to, we don't have to go non-stop. This is our string straighting. We're using a little bit heavier weights and a little bit less reps, but we're really, really focusing on the form. All right, your second exercise in this Aaron block is your skier swing to overhead press. Soft knees, squat and ski, all the way up. This is your number one, guys. Join me when you're ready. 12 total. Push, press, all the way. Come on up fully through that bicep curl. That's it. This is number four. Remember, one more is definitely better than one less, right? Stay with me, guys. Abs in, knees away from your toes all the time or any squats. Scoot the belly in, keep the back super strong. Strong arms, guys. That's it. Push press. We have only two reps to complete of the skier squat. And then we will begin again from the first exercise. Remember, this is our add-on challenge. So every single time we add the exercise, we begin from the top. All right, my friends. Your first exercise, your Frogger squat to alternate bicep curl. Rotate those dumbbells, step pretty wide, right? Shoulders up, back and down. Give me good quality Frogger, guys. Begin, all the way. That's it, all the way down. Come on up, that's perfect. I count and we're all doing the job. When you return back, squeeze those glutes, guys, on that bicep curl, pivot. That's it. Number four, already complete, come on. That's it, no weak arms. If you feel you cannot support your reps, you need to reduce the weights of your dumbbells. Your strings will come while well, we do have a lot of reps today. We have only four to go after this one. That's it, bicep. Stay with me, guys, stay with me. Good job. Push it. Two reps. Squeeze the glutes, reach. Push it up, all the way, one more. All right, awesome work, guys. If you need to sip your water, do it right away. If not, we move in for the skier squat and then we're gonna add up exercise number three. Be strong on those skier squat, swing all the way back. Up, press, swing, squat low, push it up. Good work, I'm gonna cue every four. Four reps complete. Strong abs, guys. You have to protect your back on that skier squat. That's it. Press. Good work. Push it up. We complete eight. We have only four reps to go. Stay with me. Power over tension, guys. Power of intention to complete. Power of intention to succeed. Power of intention to be healthy. Last one. All right, 10 pounds was a good choice for me today. Drink your water. We adding up the third exercise. Your third exercise is your squat, drop squat, jack. Bicep curl, guys, on the bottom. Drop squat, jack, bicep curl on the bottom. So we begin a moderate fit, hips width apart, and we're going to drop jack a little bit lower. Begin, first drop. Again, if you're not doing your plyos, you're just gonna stay in your wide leggies and squat and do your bicep curl. Wider, guys. That's it, don't swing those arms. Finish strong on that bicep curl. Release, 
don't drop. Excellent. Four complete. Let's go. Beautiful. Come on, down back. Stay with me. Number eight is complete after this one. Keep on working, guys. Four reps left. A little bit stronger, a little bit wider. Use bicep and tricep, not just your wrist, for that bicep curl. That's it. Two more, we can do it. That's good. All right, team. Muscle up. I got you. It's time to drink your water and we move in for the next exercise, guys. Before we add exercise number four, we're going to take it all the way from the top. So your first one, your progger. Feet wider than the hips, definitely. Shoulders up, back and down. Dumbbells up front. Begin your progger squat. Bicep curl all the way, upper. That's it. Come on up. I got you. We're working hard today. Scoop the belly. Keep the abs super tight, super strong. That will help you to keep your back super strong and extended too. That's it. This is number five already. We're getting there. It's going to fly by like a five minutes. We're already almost ready to add exercise number four in our the most challenging block today, which has a six exercises. That's it. We have only three reps left. That's it, carry on. Good job. I want to see guys the best form you can give to yourself. You know, your form is your number one priority. If you need to take a sip, go ahead and take a sip of water. Grab your dumbbells back. We're ready for this skier squat. This is your second exercise of this add-on block. Begin with the soft knees. Get ready and swing. That's it. Good form, guys. Do not round those shoulders. We got this. All right, back to power of intention, right? This is your number four, by the way. The more we focus on weakness, on I can't, on the ugliness of this world, or the illness, the more we invite it in our thoughts, in our daily actions, and ultimately on our life. And it works vice versa as well, right? All right, we have only four reps to go. The more we focus on strengths, on vitality, on happiness, on transformation, on power, the more we invite it in our daily thoughts, daily actions, and ultimately we change in our lives. So I invite you to take that journey of positive, of positive power of intention. All right, guys, let's quickly drink the water and we're gonna move Exercise number three, and then new exercise number four. Your exercise number three. Remember, your drop squat jack to the bicep curl. If you're not doing the plyometric drops, you're just gonna stay here, squat, do your bicep. Everyone else, we start feet hips width apart. Get ready, only 12 reps, begin. Super strong, guys. That's it. I want you to try to drop jack a little bit lower. That's it, four reps complete. Again, you don't have to do your jumps at all. You can stay wide legged and just do your squats, then your bicep curl, then come back up tall. Keep the arms, guys, super strong. Do not squeeze those dumbbells too hard. Four reps left. 
use the bicep, tricep, shoulders, deltoids, even your abs. You do that bicep curl. We have one more. Let's do it. I think we can do one more just in case. I lost a little bit count, just in case, guys. One more is better than one less. All right, guys, your next exercise is a standing clutch, bicep curl, overhead, tricep extension. You can use one dumbbell for sure. Try to begin with two. You have to squeeze them really tight. 20 pounds for this exercise, pretty significant. But we try to complete. If we need to, we're gonna drop it on the next round. Begin. Only 12 rounds, 12 reps. All the way, stay tall. Try not to hyperextend, guys, your back. Tall like a mountain. Sweat is rolling. This is number four. All right, I think I can make it with 20 pounds. It's a lot of weight for the tricep. That's it, guys, take a look. Your back is super tall. That's it, excellent. Don't drop your dumbbells on the way back down, right? That's it. Push it. We have only four reps from here. Let's muscle up together. Don't hurry up. Remember, squeeze those both dumbbells together for the best results. It's a clutch, bicep curl, two more. That's it, Tim. Finish strong. Last one, everybody. That's it. We got this done. Excellent. I hope you use your power of intention to complete, right? We can laugh at it, but some things in this life, we still as advanced, this society and this humanity, we still cannot explain. One of those things is our power of intention to change our lives. This is your ultimate tool, guys, to manifest anything you want in your life. All right, before we will add exercise, Number five, we have to take this whole thing from the top. Are you ready? I'm ready, Tim. You ready, superstars? All right, wider fit. Nobody's quitting, even you new to this channel. Even you are a beginner, pick up the lighter weight, do it without weight, but don't quit. Because remember, little success, little achievement will bring the bigger self-esteem. You will able to complete more. Begin. You can't quit. You're not giving you, yourself, a service, a service by quitting. Anything you do, and not just this workout. Because by finishing the little achievements, you build your self-esteem. You feel better about yourself. Remember our workbook, back to the 21-day challenge? That's right. All right, push it. We're doing it together. Come on, guys. This is your number six. Lower, Frogger, good quality bicep. I want you to pound on your form, guys. When you come up from the Frogger, squeeze your glutes. Arms super strong. We have only four repetitions left. Time is flying, I told you. Push it. All right, guys. Last one to complete. That's it. Excellent. Let's not to take a water break. If you can, get ready for your skier squat and then we'll take a quick water sip and carry on for exercise number three. Shoulders up, back, and down. Get ready on the position. Give me a good swing. Overhead. On your overhead, sometimes we do have a tendency to overly back bend in your lower back. So watch for it, guys. Stay steady on your feet. When you do overhead, your feet are planted. When you do skier squat, 
shift your weight a little bit more toward the heels to avoid the unnecessary knee load. We got this. All right, guys. We have only four to complete. One. Push it through. That's it. Two more. Last one. Strong. Super strong. All right. Excellent job, guys. Excellent, excellent. I made it. Drink your water quickly. We move to the exercise number three and four, and then we're heading up one more time. Your number three. I know your favorite, right? Really intense, especially if you guys doing, especially if you guys doing your drop squat jacks. All right, step moderate width, or if you're not doing the jumps, then you're just gonna step a little bit wider. All right, get ready. Only 12 reps. We can do it. Let's go. Perfect. That's it. Excellent. This is your number four. We got this. Good work, guys. Nice and low. That's it. That's good. We have only four repetitions after this one. Four. Be careful not to drop your weights. Release them with control. We have one more. Last one, guys. Muscle up. We did it. All right. Your next exercise, number four. We already did it. Is your clutch bicep curl to overhead tricep extension. If you're using just one dumbbell, this is fine. Especially if it's 10, 12 pound dumbbells. I'm gonna try again to conquer this one with 20 pounds in my hands. Abs in, squeeze the dumbbells together, clutch bicep curl all the way. That's it. Perfect. This is a challenging one. Pay attention what your shoulders doing, guys, when you lift over hot. You can't lift your shoulders as well. You have to lift, lift, leave some space in between your ears and your shoulders. Keep your neck, guys, long for complete. That's it. Perfect. We got this. I count, don't you worry if you're following me, but if not, you're going slower. Quality versus quantity. We have only four reps left. Also, you can always pause the video if you still, if you go a little bit slower than I do, but you want to complete. Just make sure you pause it, you finish, you carry on. All right, last one. We got this. Excellent, perfect. Your exercise number five is super effective and sweaty one. We'll target your back and your arms and your legs in a certain point. This is, this is your deadlift, double arm row, tricep kickback. I know your tricep is tired. And then come up fully to stand in first. Do your bicep curl. All right, you ready? I'm ready, you ready? Let's go. Exercise number five. We almost through. remember we only have six exercises in this add on block. Deadlift, row, tricep, kickback. Here we go. Only 12 reps. Come up back fully. Soft back, neutral. That's it. This is a good weight for the tricep kickback. Don't drop the weights. Moderate speed, so we keep the heart rate up going. Not to cool down, but keep a good form, guys. This is number four. Bicep curl. We have only eight left. 
That's it, that's it. Abs in, squeeze your glutes. Abs in and tight on that final bicep curl. All right, back to the conclusion, right? Of the power of intention. I'm not gonna leave you alone for this, guys. This is gonna be number eight. Power of intention. This is perhaps the one of the most important skills we have to master to achieve the greatest results, the results we really want in our life. To manifest, to bring to this life what you ultimately want, abundance, health, happiness. And not to expense of all other things because you can have it all, guys. You can have it all. That's it, we're almost there. We have two more reps to finish. This is kind of a long exercise by itself, has so many steps. One more, guys. Power of intention, muscle up. That's it, that's it. Curl it, finish. All right, before we will add our exercise number six, we have to take this whole block entire five exercises from the top and this is going to be our final round let's try to take as little breaks as we possibly can come on down for your progress squat uppercut dumbbells up front right away shoulders up back and down we got this let's begin squeeze those glutes on the way up Let's focus on the quality. That's good. Perfect, guys. Stay with me. This is your number four. Big smile, right? Even when it's hard, this is your physiology. When it's hard, you smile, you make everything better. Somehow you have a second or third breath to complete. That's it, your all internal systems starts to work differently when we're happy, when we set the positive signal to our body. The same with the foot, right? You have to love your foot. We constantly can hear, constantly can hear. You have to love your steamed or fresh broccoli, your spinach, and it's great if you love it and enjoy it, but if you absolutely hate it, this is much less effectiveness on your good health, right? You have to love it. You have to find the good, healthy, nutritious foods which you actually enjoy. And it's a repetition, it's a practice. You might not like it from the first time or second, but what you feed your body, you become. And eventually, once you start to eat more greens, this is your last one. In vegetables, you start to crave them. All right, skier swing. Enough about diet for now. Let's focus on that quality. Swing. Begin. That's it. Push. That's it. We have faith to complete. Push press. That's it. All the way. Good swing team. Push it up. Stay tall on the way up. Plant it on your feet fully. Three to go. Happy to announce that for sure. That's good, guys. We got this, we got this, we got this. Let's take a little sip. Wrists and arms getting really tired of this, of this constant holding of heavy dumbbells. Of course, it depends what weights you have, but 10 pounds is pretty challenging. Third and fourth exercise. Let's try to make it non-stop. Your third one. Remember your drop, jack, squat, bicep curl. Begin. Beginners do just the squats and curls. That's good. Perfect. A little bit lower, guys. I know your legs are giving up a little bit. Not yet. We're not done yet. We have a lot of fun exercises to complete today. 
This is a strong full body workout. We have only four reps, guys. Only four reps. We almost done with the add-on block, the most challenging one. All right, give me two more with the best quality of the form you've got. Last one. That's it. All right, bicep curl clutch with your overhead tricep extension. Use your one dumbbell only if you have to. Try to use heavier weight. This is your last round of this add-on block. That's it. Push it. All right. Losing my breath, but I'm not losing the fire. That's it. Remember, the fire is within. You've got this. So unleash that power, that fire within. Like Tony Robbins loves to say, I love him. All right, come on, guys. We finish it. This is it. We have only four reps. Big one. Don't even think to quit. Push. A little bit more fire in those arms. That's it. One more. We got this. All the way. Push. Tricep. Back. All the way down. All right. Let's take a quick sip. Your exercise number five, remember, is your deadlift. Row, double arm row, tricep kick back. Standing up, bicep curl. Let's do it. We got this. I promise you, you can do it. Get ready. Begin. When you do your deadlift, go only as low as you can maintain your neutral spine from the top of your head to your tailbone. You also have to bring your abs in and tight in order to protect your back. Give me good rows, good kickbacks. Force we're all ready. Are you excited to know what the exercise number six in this block? I'm going to let you to contemplate a little bit. I will tell you just in a second. All right, guys. This is your number eight repetition. We have only four reps left. That's it. Come on up. Three reps left. Good quality kickback. I know your tricep is tired but you can't let it slide. Give some respect to this tricep. We have one more. That's it, last one, guys. Muscle up. That's it, come on up. Perfect. All right, your final exercise in this vlog, guys, take a quick sip of the water, is your double leg straight pike, pike crunch with your chest fly. So we're gonna go on the floor. If you have a back injury or simply you are a beginner, you can bend your knees and not to do your straight legs. And we might all need to modify at the end. We have all these full reps and we're done with this add-on block. Then we are due to my cardio surprise for you. We're going to begin with the arms, elbows on the floor, getting ready for this high crunch. Let's extend it or bend your knees if you are a beginner. Get ready, flex your feet, begin. We have only 12 reps. That's it. I love it. Beginners, you can bend your knees, remember? Watch your spine, guys. On the way up, your back should hit the floor. Be grounded. Use your chest 
to lift those arms for the fly. This is your number eight coming. That's it. Four reps left. Aren't you glad we have to do this one? Only for one round. Come on. Let's do one extra, just in case if you started late. Beautiful form, arms on the floor. We need to bring our dumbbells to the safe place for our cardio, quick cardio surprise, quick cardio break. We are doing 30 speed skiers, guys. If you want to go harder than a regular skier, you're gonna add a little bit a hop from side to side. Whether you do it with, it with a hop or without the hop, I want you to go long and wide and low. All right, guys, your speed skier on the position. Get ready, set only 30 reps. So 15 on each side with a little hop if you can. I count, I promise. Ten through. Second ten. Look forward. Try not to back bend, bend your knees, but not to drop your chest. We have only ten to go, guys. One, two, three, four. Come on, guys. Speed it up. Speed it up. It's a speed skier. Only two final reps, just in case. That was super challenging. Congratulations. Your cardio surprise is complete. We have block number two, which has only two exercises in it. Yes, only two. And we have only one round. And then we will begin our abs and core round. For the second block, I'm gonna be using my 15 pound dumbbell for the first exercise. Your first exercise is overhead dumbbell hold squat. Step a little bit wider, so it's almost like a Zuma squat. And if you can't hold your arms overhead due to the shoulder injuries, you're gonna be holding it right here. Everyone else, and if you have neck injuries as well, absent and tight, bend your knees, not your back. Only 12 reps, here we go. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. That's it. Watch your shoulders if you're holding the dumbbell overhead. Squeeze. Weight into the heels, guys. Into the heels. That's it. This is your eight reps. We have only four to go. You can, guys. A little bit lower. Squat. Two more. One more, everybody. I got you. All right. We don't need this heavy dumbbell anymore unless you want to do the next exercise, which is your power front press with your jack. I'm gonna be using 10 pounds dumbbell. We have only 12 reps, so we can do it. You will begin with your elbows outside. This is how low you go. That's where you land. You come up, pop up, up, and front press. Get ready, set, begin. One, two, three, lower guys, four, Everybody with me, five. Pick up the tempo, six. We be in time, seven. Elbows out. Squeeze the dumbbell, work your chest. Four reps left, four, three. All right, team, two. One more, push it, I'm so proud of you. Block number two is officially complete, guys. All right, we're moving to the block number three, 
your core and abs, which will conclude today's workout. We have six exercises in this block. We will alternate exercise on the plank with the seated or laying exercise so your wrist, hands and arms can get some rest. Your first exercise is your push-up to, to knee to the elbow, to the opposite elbow. Push up, knee to the opposite elbow. We have only 12 reps. It's challenging if you would have to move on your knees for your push-ups. Do it, but don't stop. Come on up, guys, on the position. Begin. All the way across, nice and wide stand. Begin on your feet. Four reps complete. All the way, try to drive that knee towards the opposite elbow. I know it's challenging because you have wider stand of the arms. We can do it. Four reps to go. Don't quit, guys. Get on your knees if you have to. Two left. One more. We got this. This is a very challenging exercise. So stretch your wrist if you have to. We're gonna go for the jackknife. We have 12 jackknives. Come on down. Make sure that you bring the hips off the floor, not your arms. And beginners, if you have to do it with your knees bent, this is totally fine. Legs straight, otherwise, focus on the half of the second, hold on top, activating those abs. Here we go. We have only 12 total. Four through, guys. Straight legs if you can. Remember, focus on that half a second of the hold, freeze, four reps, freeze, three, that's it, arms on the floor, one more, come on up, your next exercise is a single leg plank to single leg dog, 20 reps, but the good news, we will alternate the legs, so we can do it, 20 reps for one leg, would be really brutal, but 20 reps for two legs is doable. Anytime you have to put your both legs on the floor in the plank, you can and do just a regular bear. Here we go. I count. Try to hold your plank, not your downward facing dog. Four guys, we almost eight through. Eight with this one. This is your core and abs block. All right, don't don't quit, guys. We have only eight reps after this one. Muscle up. Try to keep that one leg extended for good. All right, guys, four reps to go. Let's finish it. We got this. Only two. Do not quit. And we already finished three exercises for abs and core out of six. We have only 20 repetitions, no dumbbells for the Russian twist. Go ahead and lean slightly deeper into your sweet spot you right because if you don't feel it you are not working it you can arch your back you have to scoop the belly in bring the belly towards the lower back elbows outside not here i want you to rotate in order to hit the floor with the elbow not to lean toward it all right don't twist your elbows rotate through the waistline one two three Four, work it, 
rotate through the waistline. Do not twist your elbows. I know how it goes. We have one, two, three, four, guys. Last four to go. Good job. Excellent. We have only two exercises left for this ab workout. And then your next exercise is your mountain climber. So it's only 20 reps. So I really need you to go quickly and efficiently. By efficiently, I mean you put your foot all the way along your hands. Don't sell yourself short on that mountain climber. Here we go. Form, guys, abs in. Do not round the back. I count. Wider, guys. All right, we have only 10 reps left. One, two, quick three, four, five, six. Give me a couple more, super strong, guys. That's it. We got this done. Excellent job, everybody. All right, your final exercise in this abs and core block is your leg lift. 20 times, we're gonna do it on the arms, on the forearms. This is a challenging exercise. If you need to bend your knees, you need to bend your knees. Check your position, elbows underneath the shoulders. Scoop the belly in, legs on the position. Shoulders away from the ears, begin. That's it. My beginners, bend your knees, guys. Don't hurry up. I want you to feel your lower abs. Keep the abs in and tight in. Finish strong with me. I know it's challenging. That's it. We have only 10 reps left. Only eight guys. Do not stop no matter what. Power of intention, guys. You strong, you can do anything. Any challenging exercise and anything what comes into your daily life and challenge you, you take it easy and you complete it. We have three more. Two more. Keep your commitments, guys. Last one. Fantastic work, guys. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, your workout of the day is almost complete. We have to go through the quick and effective stretches so I can let you go. Let's set our wrist elbow shoulders, one on top another. Reach all the way up. On exhalation, all the way back. In through the nose, guys. Out through the mouth if you want to. Go ahead and take your one leg up all the way. Big reach, big reach. And swing it, carry it, slide it, drag it, whatever you have to do, all the way on the side. We're going to open up in a nice, uneven, low lunge. Four, guys. Three, we work those hips so hard. Let the gravity take the responsibility for that stretch. We're gonna go on the other side. Reach all the way back and carries it like all the way through. Make sure that you step a little bit farther, wider, and open up. Uneven, low lunge. Four, guys. Three, two, come on back. All the way back. Come on up with me first. We're gonna go to the downward facing dog in a second. Let's give our back a good quality stretch. Reach all the way. My beginners, you can take one hand at a time on your feet right on the left, left on the right. You can come with me or you can take your hands into the back if you have to. You don't have to go with this. Come on back up. Take your hands on the floor. Extend, guys. Downward facing dog. Feels good on Achilles and the hamstrings. All the way, stay with me for a few more seconds. All right, team. Come on back up with me and we're going to stretch our Achilles. 
feels good. So top your one foot forward and go ahead and go straight, soft down. Make sure that you fold forward through the hip flexor principle. Feels so good on Achilles and the hamstring. Come on up guys and slowly carry over this ankle right behind. Find the balance, which is a very challenging task. All the way and let's switch the legs. Go ahead and top the heel up front. We're gonna give it a few seconds. Lean a little bit deeper, Achilles and the hamstrings. And then we will carry over this for the balance. Really challenging after this intense workout, but we did it well. All the way, guys. All right, excellent work. Step wider. Let's reach all the way up. Inhalation, exhalation. I'm loving it, guys. Hopefully, you loving it as well. Final one. Fantastic. Outstanding. Beyond the best work, everybody. So rest well, recover well, guys. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below what was the hardest exercise for you today. And I will see you all tomorrow.